Have you ever felt like no matter how hard you work, money just doesn't seem to flow into your life? Could it be that your home is filled with objects that are blocking the path to abundance? In today's video, I'm going to reveal which everyday objects might be keeping you from attracting wealth and how removing them could change your financial future. Welcome to Mindful Wisdom. I'm Banke, and on this channel, we explore Buddhist teachings and other spiritual principles to help you live a more abundant and fulfilling life. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more insights into transforming your energy and attracting prosperity. In Buddhism and in many other spiritual traditions, the energy around us plays a crucial role in shaping our reality. This energy can be influenced by the objects we keep in our homes. And today, we're going to look at which items you should remove to invite more wealth and abundance into your life. In many spiritual traditions, including Buddhism, visuals play a significant role in shaping our environment's energy. When it comes to attracting abundance and wealth, the visuals we surround ourselves with can either support or hinder our efforts. Negative visuals, such as artwork, photos, and media that depict struggle or sadness, can lower our energy and create a mindset of scarcity. Think about the artwork in your home. Does it evoke a sense of joy and abundance, or does it remind you of hardship and loss? For example, family photos can carry emotional weight, especially if they capture moments of grief or tension. Similarly, artwork depicting scenes of poverty or struggle can subtly influence your subconscious mind, reinforcing a belief in scarcity. Movies and TV shows are another source of negative visuals. If your entertainment choices frequently focus on themes of lack, struggle, or limitation, it can seep into your mindset, making it harder to attract wealth. To shift this energy, start by identifying and removing visuals that don't align with a positive and abundant mindset. Replace them with images that inspire and uplift you. Consider artwork depicting beautiful landscapes, joyous family gatherings, or symbols of prosperity like golden coins, flowing water, or lush greenery. You can also include images or objects that resonate with your spiritual beliefs, such as a Buddha statue or other Buddhist symbols that represent abundance. As you make these changes, pay attention to how your space feels. You might notice a sense of lightness and openness as you clear out negative visuals and replace them with uplifting ones. By surrounding yourself with positive imagery, you're setting the stage for a mindset shift, which is a crucial step in attracting more abundance into your life. What you wear can have a profound impact on your mindset and, ultimately, on the energy you project into the world. Worn-out clothing and accessories might seem harmless, but they can create a subtle but persistent sense of lack and self-worth issues. If you want to attract more abundance and wealth, it's essential to evaluate the condition of your wardrobe. Think about the clothing you wear daily. Are there holes, frayed seams, or stains that you've been ignoring? Worn out or poorly maintained clothing can send a message to yourself and others that you don't value yourself enough to look presentable. This can lower your energy and create an environment that repels wealth. Consider your shoes and accessories. If your shoes are falling apart or your bags have broken zippers, they might be reinforcing a scarcity mindset. Similarly, old or damaged accessories like watches or jewelry can carry an energy of lack. These items can impact how you feel about yourself and, by extension, how you interact with the world. To break this cycle, start by examining your wardrobe and accessories. Get rid of items that are clearly past their prime. This doesn't mean you need to buy expensive designer clothes. Instead, focus on ensuring your clothing is clean, whole, and in good condition. If you can't afford to replace everything at once, prioritize the basics like undergarments, socks, and everyday wear. As you declutter your wardrobe, take the opportunity to donate clothing and accessories that are still in decent condition. This not only helps you clear space, but also creates a positive energy flow, knowing that you're helping others. By upgrading your wardrobe and accessories, you signal to the universe that you value yourself and are ready to attract abundance. The simple act of wearing clean, well-maintained clothing can boost your confidence and open the door to new opportunities. Mirrors hold a unique place in many spiritual traditions, including Buddhism. They don't just reflect our physical image. They can also mirror our energy and mindset. When mirrors in your home are damaged, distorted, or unkempt, they might be projecting a broken or unclear version of yourself, which can affect your ability to attract wealth and abundance. Think about the mirrors in your home. 
are any of them cracked, shattered, or warped. These imperfections can symbolize a distorted self-image and create negative energy. A cracked mirror might reflect a sense of brokenness, while a warped mirror can distort your perception of reality. These subtle cues can subconsciously affect your confidence and, ultimately, your ability to attract prosperity. Another common issue is dirty or stained mirrors. If your mirrors are covered in smudges, dust, or grime, it's like placing a filter over your self-perception. This lack of clarity can translate into a lack of clarity in other areas of your life, including finances. To correct these issues, start by inspecting every mirror in your home. If you find any that are damaged or distorted, consider replacing them with new ones that reflect a clear, positive image. When selecting new mirrors, think about placement. Ideally, you want mirrors in areas that reflect abundance, such as near the front door or in your living room. Cleaning your mirrors is equally important. Use a gentle cleanser to remove dirt and grime, ensuring that your mirrors provide a clear reflection. As you clean, you can set positive intentions, such as, I am worthy of abundance, or I attract wealth and prosperity. By maintaining clean, clear, and well-placed mirrors, you're creating an environment that encourages positive energy flow. This simple adjustment can help you align with abundance and open the door to new opportunities in your life. Sentimental items often hold special meaning because of the memories or emotions they carry. However, when these items are tied to negative experiences or painful memories, they can act as energetic anchors, keeping you rooted in the past and blocking the flow of abundance. If you want to attract wealth and prosperity, it's essential to identify and release these sentimental items with negative energy. Think about the sentimental objects in your home. Do you have items from past relationships that ended badly? Perhaps it's jewelry from an ex-partner or a gift that now carries emotional baggage. Similarly, photos from difficult times or inherited items from a loved one's passing can evoke sadness or grief each time you see them. These items, while cherished at one point, might now be contributing to a low energy environment. To create space for positive energy, start by identifying which sentimental items carry negative associations. This process can be emotional, but it's crucial to be honest with yourself about what these items represent. Ask yourself if they bring you joy or if they evoke feelings of loss, resentment, or sadness. If they carry negative energy, it's time to let them go. When releasing sentimental items, you can do so with gratitude. Thank the item for the role it played in your life and the memories it represents. If it's a valuable item, consider selling or donating it to someone who might find joy in it. If it's a photo or other memento, you might choose to keep it in a memory box rather than displaying it in your living space. By letting go of sentimental items with negative energy, you create room for new, uplifting experiences. This act of release is a powerful step toward attracting abundance and welcoming positive energy into your home. It shows that you're ready to move forward and embrace a more prosperous future. Clutter is more than just a messy pile of objects. It can be a significant barrier to the flow of positive energy in your home. In Buddhist teachings and many other spiritual traditions, energy needs to flow freely to maintain harmony and balance. Clutter, however, acts like a dam blocking the natural flow and leading to stagnation. If you want to attract abundance and wealth, reducing clutter and improving organization are essential steps. Start by looking around your home. Are there piles of papers, magazines, or unopened mail accumulating on tables and countertops? Do you have closets or drawers that are overflowing with items you rarely use? These are common signs of clutter and disorganization, which can create a sense of chaos and overwhelm. Clutter can also manifest in hidden places, like under the bed or in storage spaces. While these areas might not be immediately visible, they can still impact the energy flow throughout your home. Disorganization and clutter create a feeling of heaviness, making it difficult to attract positive energy and abundance. To address this, begin with a thorough decluttering session. Go through each room, drawer, and closet, removing items you no longer need or use regularly. Donate or recycle items in good condition, and properly dispose of anything broken or unusable. This process can be therapeutic, allowing you to let go of the old and create space for the new. As you declutter, 
focus on organizing what's left. Keep surfaces clear and arrange items in a way that promotes easy access and a sense of order. Pay special attention to energy pathways like doors and windows, ensuring they are not blocked by furniture or other obstacles. By decluttering and organizing your space, you create an environment that invites positive energy and abundance. This transformation not only makes your home more aesthetically pleasing, but also helps you feel lighter and more open to new opportunities. Thank you for joining me on this journey to discover how certain objects can block the flow of abundance in your life. We've discussed some key areas that can impact your energy and ultimately your financial well-being. By addressing negative visuals, worn out clothing, damaged mirrors, sentimental items with negative energy, and clutter, you're taking important steps to create a more prosperous environment. It's important to remember that your home is more than just a physical space. It's a reflection of your inner world. By removing these obstacles and inviting in positive energy, you're signaling to the universe that you're ready for abundance and wealth. Now it's time to take action. Start with one of the areas we discussed today, whether it's clearing out clutter, updating your wardrobe, or replacing a damaged mirror. Share your progress in the comments below and let me know which object you're removing first to welcome more prosperity into your life. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Mindful Wisdom for more insights on attracting abundance and living a more fulfilling life. Share this video with a friend who could benefit from it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.